What's up, YouTube? We back again. Another reaction. Airplay beats. La and Chi. And today we got Black Sabbath, A Bit of Finger, Sleeping Village, and Warning to end the album. You ready? A Bit of Finger. Yeah. Yeah. This is the last song on the rec on the album. Yep. Yep. So here we go. <laughs> In the first, I, can't, I don't know if we're in the first or second record. Record, who knows? So far, but uh, that sound is just like that's their staple. They're giving that same. They're giving us th that 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 uh, those that guitar sound with the bass on every single song on here. And it's like the same notes, but it's just that same look, kind of pattern, huh? But I would I would have put up slapping this every day if I was in high school. Yeah, I was driving. Yeah, and this and. If, this was out. The low end driving. of this song is it's banging. The bottom is I'm heavy. I'm pulling up everywhere, slapping this yeah. one. The bottom is heavy, but uh, that sound, man, that's that. It's giving us. They gave us a little bit of everything. They gave us a little jazz drums. They gave us some, some creepy crawling music, and then they gave us that Iron Man vibe with the with the with the guitars. We're only three minutes in. Crazy. So. <laughs>
Sounds like some fun to play. Man. He's killed. That timing on that sounds fun. Say, his, his, he picks the <laughs> best drum patterns. His time work yeah. is just beautiful. I'm sitting there like I'm playing under Damn, the table with him. you noticed it? Yeah, that was, some, that was some sick drumming right there. And then the bass is incredible. Well, you took the words did, right out of our mouth, what I was going to say. Did you notice that this is a love song? Kind of. She but. ripped his heart out. like She left him, I guess, and ripped it. Damn near killed him. Is that what happened? Basically, yes. Yeah, it don't even sound like a love song, but it is. It sounds like he's just like he's yeah, he's down in the dumps. <laughs> now the whole wide world is moving, cause there's iron in my heart. I just can't keep from trying, cause you say we've got to part. Sorrow grips my voice as I stand here all alone. And what you Take away a love I've never known. Oh, yeah. I was born without you, baby. Yeah. But my feelings were a little bit too strong. Oh, Just yeah. a little bit too strong. That's hard right there. Man.
Extra little whoops in there. Yeah, no, he's he's an excellent drummer. This mm-hmm. this this day as their debut album, I know you had to want to hear the sophomore album after this because they gave you everything, a little bit of everything. Yeah, the musicianship on this album is top yeah, notch. I would have played this one out. You gotta pull up to the party playing this one. Yeah, and then the, the, the and you have to get the second album when it drops because you gotta hear what it sounds like. It, it was that. It was a great. Yeah, first that record. was a dope album, man. Uh, Ozzy killed it all the way through. And this particular record itself, I love the lyrics. What he was talking I said I was about. Born without you. Yeah. And my feelings got a little bit too strong. Like that. Goes, that's a crazy something yeah. to say to somebody. It is. But um. Uh, that's the hardest, probably the hardest rock uh, love song that I've ever heard. Mm-hmm. It was like a hardcore record with the music, but it was just, it was a love song. What do you think about um, the debut album? One of the best you've heard. That is a top. That's one of the top notch ones. And and I because when, when they get their sound, when they got into that bag, oh, when they get into that bag with those heavy bags, yeah, it's just oh, you never heard. I ain't never heard nothing like it. So they they kill that. Yeah, no, nah, yeah, this is. Dope. Definitely a top-notch debut record. Yep, on to the next one. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, and we up out of here.